Every revolutionary medical discovery starts with clinical research. There are studies to improve cancer treatment and studies to develop over-the-counter drugs, research to help us sleep better, and research to test devices that may make surgery more successful. Hello, I'm Marilyn Brooks. Clinical research being conducted today is the key to unlocking the extraordinary medical breakthroughs of tomorrow, and you have the power to be part of the process when you participate in clinical research studies. You'll learn more about your own health, but you could also make a positive impact on the health of your entire community. Clinical research has a direct impact in what we do on a daily basis. It has to do with why we wear a helmet for uh, riding a bicycle or why we wear a seat belt in a car to whether we use antibiotics or we don't use antibiotics to treat a specific condition, what do we eat, whether we exercise or we don't exercise. So every aspect of what we do and the medical care we receive is directly related to some clinical research that at one point evaluated that specific topic. Clinical research is how doctors and scientists answer questions about health care, like understanding what causes a problem, finding new ways to treat problems, even discovering ways to prevent problems. When she was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, um, right around her surgery, they asked us if we would be willing to sign off permission that they could use um, her any blood or any tissues that they were taking for research. So for down the road, they could learn more and more about the type of cancer that she had. And I was, that was the first time that I ever thought about clinical research and how, yes, it does affect other people. My first thought was, yes, if this is going to help another child down the road or help them treat another child a few years down the road, then absolutely. But I thought some child may have done, done that five or ten years earlier that's helping them today get her better. Are you all better today? Remember when your back was sore? Yeah. Doctors take an oath to help and heal, but there are limits to what's possible. Clinical research is a way to seek solutions. As much knowledge, as much technology as we have, nature still asserts itself and says, you don't know how to fix this, you don't know what to do. And so the thing that drives research for me is dissatisfaction that I ever have to say, well, that's all we can do, there's nothing more I can offer. I'm always looking for something more we can offer to people in a bad situation and the only way to, to do it is to try new things, but somebody had to try it for the first time. Doctors who conduct this groundbreaking research can't do it alone. It's a team effort and you can be a part of that team. Clinical research needs participants. Uh, with, without the community support, we can't advance our, our research. The participants are key. Without them, there's no research. I hear from so many people saying, I really want to make a difference. Participating in a research study is one way to make a huge difference. If you can find out how people eat, how they eat under stress, how physical activity is helpful, these are all little tidbits that add up to helping yourself and helping thousands if not millions of people. For some people, participating in research studies is about finding new options to treat their own illnesses. For others, it's about helping future generations. Marion Tobby likes to think her participation in research may someday benefit her own grandchildren. You know, someday when they get older, somebody may say to them, well, your grandparents were in that study that helped this medicine that you're taking now. Due to the condition that I had, there really wasn't even a question about it. I wanted to do it because I have a daughter. Being in the research study could possibly help my daughter and someone else down the line, and possibly me. Uh, our lifespans now can live till 80 or 90, and maybe just around the corner, something that they research on me could help me, my daughter, or someone else, a stranger. So why not? Why not get involved with it? Now, volunteering to take part in research studies is easier than ever, thanks to the new Research Participant Registry created at the University of Pittsburgh. Everyday people like you and me have already enrolled in the Research Participant Registry. If you're 18 or older, you can join too, and you will be part of the team that shapes the next wave of groundbreaking medical advances. You know, the, the major barrier that, that I think to people participating in research is understanding what research is about, how it's conducted, what it involves, and how it might help them individually 
or help other people. It's another way that people can volunteer in their community and help others like them. At the Research Participant Registry website, you can learn more about the research study process and find answers to the most commonly asked questions about clinical research. Studies need volunteers of all ages and all ethnicities, and they also need healthy volunteers. So there's a role for everyone in clinical research. This research is not guaranteed to lead to a cure to Alzheimer's disease, but one thing we can be sure of, if we do nothing, nothing will change. So unless the public sees value in research and decides to partner with us to move this forward. Even the best fruit can die on the vine. Joining the Research Participant Registry is simple. There are two ways to enroll. You can do it online. It's a simple process. It takes only a few minutes. Or if you're already a UPMC patient, you can join the registry right in your doctor's office. Whether you join online or join at your doctor's office, you can always rest assured that extensive measures are in place to protect the privacy of your medical and personal information. Once you're enrolled, the registry office will send you a quarterly newsletter with important health information and recent research study findings, along with a list of studies you might want to take part in based on your health preferences and your medical status. As a member of the Research Participant Registry, you'll learn more about your own health and you'll have the power to make a positive impact on the health of your entire community. But becoming a member of the Research Participant Registry does not obligate you to take part in a study. If you hear about a study that interests you, you'll always have the chance to learn more about the research study, ask questions, and receive clear, detailed answers before you agree to take part. It is the patient's chance to really understand what they're doing and what they're agreeing to do. If they're going to enroll in the study, we want them to be able to be in the study to completion. So we want people to know what they're getting themselves into and not to decide two or three weeks into a study that Jesus is more than I bargained for. In the consent form itself, it tells you exactly what's going to happen from beginning to end, how many visits, exactly what they're going to do, what questions they're going to ask, from top to bottom, you know what you're getting involved in. One of the hardest things to accept in medicine is that there are times that I say, we've done what we can do, this is the best that we can do, and that's never satisfying. So I'm always looking for what can I do next, where can we go with this? And the only way that we can move to the next level is through research. We want the patient to be involved and to think I'm, I'm contributing to science and I'm contributing to medicine because absolutely they are. Call today or log on to learn more about the Research Participant Registry. The Research Participant Registry at the University of Pittsburgh makes research available to everyone. Together, we can improve health through research.